In this lecture, we're going to show how to insert subassembly into main assembly. So subassembly is assembly that is inserted into main assembly. So how we can insert subassembly? The same way how we insert parts. So let's show this. So here we have this assembly, part 1 and part 2. And we have four instances of this part 2. Now let's go here and let's go to our subassembly. So here we have also two parts. So this is also assembly. So we have this part and here we have this knot that we can rotate here. As we can see, here we have a thread. So this works like this. And now we want to insert this assembly into main assembly. So this will be subassembly. So let's go to our main assembly, to cylinder. And now let's go to assembly tab. And let's go with insert. So we're going to insert this subassembly here. So let's double click and we can position this here like this. Now we have to create relations between the assembly and subassembly. So first let's go to section view like this. Let's click here on this face like this and let's click OK. Now let's go to assembly tab and mate. So now let's make first concentric relation between this here and this cylinder here like this. Let's click OK. And now let's go to advanced mates. Let's go to width. Now here for the width selections, we're going to choose this face and this face here. And for a tab selection, we're going to choose this face here and this face here. And we're going to put that in the center like this. And let's click OK. So now here we have this assembly. If we want to move this, we can simply go here to the mates, edit feature on the width, and here we can go with free. Like this, let's click OK. And now we can move this, as you can see, from this face to this face here. And we can rotate this, as you can see here. But now let's try to rotate this knot here. So if we try to rotate, we see that we can't rotate only this knot. We rotate the whole clip. So if you want that this part, this knot will go along this thread, you have to go here to the subassembly, right click here. And here we have an option, make subassembly flexible. So let's choose this. And now let's try to rotate this. And now as you can see, we can rotate a knot like this to other side as well. Let's go here to the width. Let's go to edit feature and let's put this in center like this. Now, as you can see, we can rotate one part relative to another part in the sub assembly as well. If you don't want a rotation between those two parts of the sub assembly, you can go here to sub assembly, right click and you can go with make sub assembly rigid. And now you can't rotate one relative to another. So this is the only difference when you insert parts and when you insert subassembly. Here you have to only check make assembly flexible.